Hello everyone, uh, welcome, uh, hope you're all having a good day. Just a quick one today, um, I've just made a few changes to my Esper um, Oloro deck. Um, it used to be a Quasar deck with Peer into the Abyss and Lich's Mastery and stuff like that, but I've recently changed it to Oloro, waiting for the card to arrive from Card Market, which is why I'm using the Post-it note version. Yeah, proxies are uh, good guys, don't ever hate on the proxies, uh, when using the right way, obviously. Um, so yeah, so I've changed this commander to Oloro basically because it gives me a bit more survivability in the sense of gaining my life every turn, two life every turn while it just sits in the command zone. Don't ever need to cast him. Um, I suppose if I got really desperate and I needed a blocker, then I would. But um, yeah, that's it. Oloro, Esper. Um, it's um, that's his Oracle deck. Um, so the aim of the game is to just basically Exile my library, cast out his oracle in some way, shape or form. It's got Jace Wield and Mysteries in there. Um, ways to exile libraries is stuff like um, Demonic Consultation. Um, uh, what else have we got in there? Thought Lash. Um, so yeah, um, a couple of ways to win with the Thassa's uh, combo or Jace combo. Um, but yeah, I'm just goldfishing it, so I'm just giving it a quick shuffle, quick cut. Let's draw seven. One, two, three. Two, three, four. Um, let's see what we get. Um, well, um, track turns. I'm hoping we should be somewhere decent by about turn six, something like that. So, what's our opening hand? Is this going to be any good? We've got a tutor. We've got two lands. You know, we've got a bit of ramp. So, I think I'm going to keep this. I've got some card draw as well. I'm not going to cast the card draw as well. So turn one plays Graft Diggers, turn two is the Arcane Signet, turn three is potentially Blood Pact, turn four, uh, one, two, three, if we draw another land, is going to be Reign of Revelation to start drawing us some cards. I'm not going to track my uh, life total, uh, one, because I'm goldfishing, and two, it goes up two every turn, so if I do go like to turn six, that's like, what, an extra two, four, six, eight life, so I'll be at 48, um, and that's four turns, 48, so I'll be at 52. Anyway, so this is my starting hand. This is what I've decided to keep. On top, we'll keep draw a card. First card. It's planes. Uh, planes. It's an island. I was looking at the planes. We'll play the island. We'll tap it. We'll cast our Graft Digger's Cage. Move those dice out of the way. Don't know if we'll need them. Uh, I've got nothing else to do, so I pass turn. On top, we'll keep draw. Turn two. Uh, I got another land. Which is good because I needed the full mana, but also I didn't quite need it this soon. So I think at this point I'm going to pay two. Tap it. It's the arcane signet. Um, with that one mana, I don't really need to do anything, so I'd pass the turn. And I come back to my turn, turn three. Up tap, up keep draw. Got that as Oracle. Here we go. So we've got one, two, three. Four mana available. If I play my blue, I can. Oh, I've not got quite enough mana to win this turn, have I? So I need to set myself up for next turn. So, but a bit of 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 a bit So if I play the blue, I think I've got it. Then I tap one and a black. And I cast my Wishclaw Talisman. Um, I would leave up the two blue, just to threaten like counter and so, so somebody might not try and interact with. Then if it survives up until the end step, um, it's got three counters on it, obviously. Uh, if it survives up to the end step before me, so three turns have gone past because I'm not playing the pot of four, I will then crack it on the end step. Um, so we can pay the one, crack this, and I'm going to go and get Demonic Consultation. Um, that's the most mana efficient way of winning. And we're on turn four. This is pretty quick for this deck. It's not normally this quick. Um, I guess it just comes down to the card draw. Let me shuffle this back up. Obviously, this is not taking into account people's counter spells and interactions and stuff like that. This is just going off the fact of. Everybody leaves you alone, then you can do your thing. So, I'm going to roughly shuffle deck and cut. Um, we 
Tutor for that. Then we untap, upkeep, draw, turn four now, so I've got it on the clock. Um, don't think we need the hack. Oh, that enters tapped anyway, so we could play the planes. Then we can pay two, pay for Thassa's. And as long as Thassa's resolves, um, the ability goes on the stack. We can then play one black. Demonic Consultation, naming forest, basic land forest. Um, exiles, all of that. Um, graveyard, uh, library is now, that's devotion, win the game. So that's the plan, that's what we try and do. Um, obviously, with this setup, in this situation, um, depending on the board state, things I need to look out for is if I get to my turn at this point. I have got no mana to defend myself at this point, and I have no counter spells in hand. So if people are sat there with a couple of blue mana available through artifacts or lands, I always want to double check artifacts people, um, then I might have wanted to uh, not to go for this. Um, and what I could have done instead um, is if somebody was on a graveyard strategy, I could have played the Bujuka Bog instead of the, the planes. Um, I still probably would have tutored for my win con, or maybe not actually, because then somebody would have had the Wish Claw Talisman. Um, so I'd probably do to let that on, left that on the battlefield with its counter on, or three counters on, sorry. So I wouldn't have had that, that would have been in my deck. Um, and so yeah, I could have drawn some cards. So for four mana, I can draw three and discard, uh, which is not something I want to do. So I can probably do three. Two and a black, um, and I can draw two, lose two life. Draw two, lose two life. Um, it gives me a bit of ramp. Because um, I play Pachuca Bog, I can't then cast my Talisman, but I can protect myself in case somebody else tries to combo off with Angel's Grace. Um, but yeah, um, and I could get to my turn, and then it'd be turn five, which is more reasonable for this deck. We draw. We get dividing top, so at this point we can play land per turn. Um, we've now got a form of defence in the fact that we can't lose the game this turn. Um, so if we did exile, if we did tutor up for demonic consultation, play passes, and then somebody does that and tries to make us draw the card, we can do that. Um, um, so yeah, that would be a way of us not losing but also still being able to win because can't lose the game this turn, but your opponents can't win the game this turn, and anything will draw you after the last one after just one. Um, but it doesn't say that you can't win. So I would still win through Thassa's Oracle, um, even though I couldn't lose. Um, so yeah, that would be another way of doing it, one turn later, which is a little bit safer, I guess. But then again, there's still no counter magic available. Um, so yeah, um, other things I could have done is then took another turn off, draw some more cards. Play more cards. I got Mystical Tutor off the top, so that would have been a way to go get myself. Um, as long as I made sure I didn't tap out the blue mana, I could have fetched myself straight away. Or on the end step before me for the next turn, so turn six, and I could have had like a Dovin's Veto or something ready. Although, saying that, if I'd have done that and that was a Dovin's Veto on top, I'd be paying two mana for the Thassa's Oracle. I'll be paying one black, or one black there, for the demonic consultation. So yeah, I would have had blue and white available to um, do the Dovin Zeta. So that's another way of thinking about doing it. So yeah, that was what, turn four, five, or six potential win, depending on how safe you want to play. Um, yeah, as you can see, there is there is no board state on this. So you're reliant on Olero um, giving you the life. Um, because if somebody's playing an aggressive deck, attacking with big things or ramping like crazy and then drops something stupid, you know, you've, you've got no defence really, unless you've got a removal spell. Um, in terms of removal, I've got things like Swords to Ploughshare, Cut Down, Fracture, D Spark, Generous Gear, Mortify, Void Rend. Um, there is a few counters in the deck, um, the idea being to stop the threats before they get on the battlefield, so you've got things like Spell Pierce, Dovin's Veto, Counter Spell Negate, Arcane Denial. Um, the reason why I've got Arcane now is obviously so I can draw the cards. I've also got um, Teferi's Aegis Insight in here, uh, the enchantment, so whenever I draw a card I would draw two, just to help me churn through that deck a little bit quick. 
a bit quicker. Um, like I say, it's not like a CDH deck or anything like that, but it is trying to be as fast as possible in the realms of normal EDH, I guess. Um, but yeah, and the new stacks pieces that I've been adding in are things like Dranath Magistrates, so I can turn off other people's commanders without them forcefully moving that, removing that first. I've added in, do, do, what was it, there's the two enchantments, um, I can't remember what they're called now, Blind Obedience, uh, there's the Dranath that I've just dropped in. Um, what's the other one? It does the same thing as uh, consoles, uh, authority of consoles, something like that. Uh, did, did, did I forget the name? Maybe I just bloody put it in. Authority of the consoles, yeah. So yeah, those are the ones I've just put in. I've already, I've already got, I've got Rustic Studio. I've got um, uh, the white one, uh, the artifact. What's it called? Oh my god, my brain's dying. Esper Sentinel, got that in. So I've got the tax for like land draw, uh, card draw and stuff like that when they play spells. Um, I've got um, Smothered Tide for creating treasures to give me the mana. For actually able to draw cards more turns. Mystic Remora's in there as well. So there's plenty of like stacks tax pieces to tax people out. So they can't either, they can either not pay the tax and progress their board state, in which case I advance to get more mana to get more cards to win. Or if they do pay the tax, it slows them down. Which is also what these guys are about, because people are going to pay, play creatures and I can't count them all. So it just slows them down, so like haste doesn't matter as much, so I don't get hit by some crazy shenanigans. I've got propaganda in here as well, so just discourage them from hitting me. Oh, and because um, I'm getting two life every turn, normally I can play Boas and um, churn through some spells in order to find some, some win cons. If I have a really bad hand, I've got Delirium wins, but that is probably on my cut list. For the next card to go as I tweak and change things. Oh, I've got a laboratory maniac in here as well for another potential win con. The other things I have in there which look quite nice um, is Notion Thief, um, we've got a Ledger Shredder, we've got Deep Moon Terminants and Archivist of Agmore, but I'm not sure about them too. Um, so, yeah, I'll see how I get on with those. Um, Seven Seas is nice. Um, like, let me look through and, and try and get to the stuff. I've got quite a few like artifacts, so I've got all the talismans, I've got the signets, I've got the farewell stone, the fort vessel, you know, arcane signet, soul ring. Um, in terms of ar artifacts that are my backups, um, should anybody like start to mill me out and stuff like that, or I get anything into my graveyard that I can't get out, I've got Feldon's Cane and the Elixir of Immortality, um, which basically tap them, shuffle your graveyard back into your into your library, so that's a way of me getting those. I've got two in there as well because um, a lot of people play graveyard in my pod, so um, I try and mill you out and steal the stuff out of your graveyard. <laughs> uh, there's only two board wipes. I could probably up the board wipes and maybe lower the targeted removal because I have such little board presence that board wipes might be better for me. Um, but yeah, the other cards in here is, is all basically card draw spells, so you've, you've got things like Brainstorm, Terry Winds. Uh, blood Pact, even like Chemist's Insights, um, Signing Blood. Um, but yeah, I'm running about 36 lands, plus like the 10 or more um, artifacts um, from which ramp. In terms of tutors, uh, I've got Grim Tutor Diabolic Intent, which means obviously sacking creature, but I don't mind sacking like a Notion Thief if I know I'm going to try and get a win off of it. I've got a uh, Wishclaw Talisman. Um, so yeah, I've got a few ways to tutor up. I've got the Mystical Tutor as well. Um, that was mostly in there for when it was Quasar, and I could go and fetch the uh, Peer into the Abyss, to Peer into the Abyss with Quasar. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah. can kind of tutor into a tutor with that one. If I need something specific, I can um, tutor to go get like Demonic Consultation with Mystical Tutor. Or I can, if I have that in hand, I can Mystical Tutor to go get one of my other tutors like Grim Tutor to then cast that to get something like Thought Lash so then I can start exiling my um, my brain. This is an absolute solid card by the way people. The amount of people I've played against and they've like not seen that card and, and don't know that one. Um, there is a slight errata to it, um, but it's it's pretty much all there. It's not 
it's not changed the cards, it's just the way that it's worded slightly. Uh, but yeah, you remove the top card of your library and you prevent the next one damage to you. Um, so it's, it says prevent one damage to you, it's, it's prevent the next one damage to you, so which is why you can do it in response to Thassa's Oracle, because you're basically saying I'm going to prevent the next whenever you draw uh, damage to me, um, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's the deck. That's me goldfishing it, spit my thoughts. If you guys noticed any lines that I missed, um, I'll put the deck list in the description as well so people can see. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, um, see you in the next one, have fun, bye bye.